I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what happens. I was, you know, I was thinking about the old man. Uh huh. And I had a, I had a few dreams. It's kind of wild, you know. I have some dreams about him. I can't, I can never really see his face, but he's there. It's like uh, we had one we were trying to fix the house up, and I forget where this house was, but it like needed the roof didn't quite come down over the walls, and just really odd dreams. And it's kind of like, okay, how are we going to do this? And hey, Dad, I think we need to do that. And uh, I don't know, it's kind of wild. So, so I'm just curious. I just think it, how that affects, you know, it, it changes over the years, you know. It's like, mm -hmm. is, he, is he kind of around, but I just can't see his face? Which is kind of wild, you know, to me. It's kind of like what that represents. Is, yeah. do, you, do you think your kids will have the same dreams about you? <laughs> Boy, that's hard to know. <laughs> that's hard to know. They might, uh -huh. you know. I mean, you know, my kids... And I've been through a lot of stuff together. Yeah. Well, so here you are. You are uh, 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 traveling. You left your kids home. They're full-grown adults now. Mm -hmm. They're responsible. <laughs> <laughs> so you expect to go back to the house, and everything will just be fine. Uh, you know, it has been before. We uh, we did this when we went to Hawaii for a week. Uh huh. They were great. And. Uh, Recently, we've left them a few times. Uh, so no California. Uh, uh, went down there and up to Brookings for another week. And they were great. They, you know, you know how it is when you're their age. They, they kind of like uh, having the house to themselves and got the girlfriends and their buddies. And uh, we got back home both those times, and the house was all vacuumed and cleaned, and the dishes were done. And really, garbage. They only forgot to put the garbage out, so we had to wait for another week. So we had to. Wow. Uh, the dog was fed. Well, he had water in his bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog was alive. The dog was alive, yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good being in Washington. Um, uh, moving, I've been up there for 18 or so years, I think, in 94, early 94, I moved up. And, and uh, you know, continued with my, with my uh, electrical work up there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's been up and down. That's a tough business sometimes, construction. And my wife's put up with that stuff, and my wife, you know, I guess my husband it deals with it. It's tough being married to an electrician. Well, yeah, but Washington, it seems like it's been good to you guys. I mean, it's been very good. To got me. a great house, got a great family. Life is good. We got lots of good friends up there. Uh, you know, there's great places to go. Uh, we, you know, we kind of uh, indulged ourselves a little more and. Uh, Decided to start having a little more fun now that the kids are a little older, and so we've been traveling a little more just around Washington and checking places out. That we, there's so much to see, you know, you can never see it all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's been pretty neat. Cool. It's been nice. it, you know, we like it up there. It's, uh, uh, you know, I go down to California, which is you know my, one of my hardest things is missing my daughter and my grandkids. And, uh, we go down to California to see them, and you know we stay as long as we can handle it. But pretty much ready to blow out of there. You know, uh huh. Here. It's, I think anywhere is getting like that now. You know, it's everything's it's getting bad with everywhere. You know. and, and Olympia, Washington has gotten really crowded too. Uh, we moved out of the Tacoma Milton area because it was really getting packed. You couldn't even drive anywhere. With the, you know, and it was pretty nice the further south we went. Plus, uh, after my mom, you know, my dad passed away, my mom moved to Portland. Uh, it put us about an hour closer, so uh -huh. yeah, made the made the drive down there a little better. A little better quality of life. Uh, like I said, it's getting a little pretty crowded now. So, so are you gonna when you retire, are you gonna stay up there? You think you're gonna stay in the area? You know, I'm not sure. We're 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 thinking maybe a little more a little more sun. Uh huh. Maybe Southern Oregon uh, or Northern California. Probably not California because of, like you and I were kind of mentioned that yesterday. Is, uh, I think it's going to take a while for California to recoup and might not be the most lucrative place to move. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but there's some pretty nice places down in, in southern Oregon and uh, that might be decent. Uh, I'm not sure if I, I don't really want to be in a metropolis like Portland or anything like that. But, uh, there's also another thought is uh, southern Washington in some areas and then I would be close enough to uh -huh. Portland and all that stuff. Or it might still be maybe out in the country or something. Cool. Not sure. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to know. It's hard to know where you want to go. So. Yeah. You guys you know, moved to Texas there, and uh, that was a uh, you know a different move, but uh, 
and I guess part of it was for your work. I don't know. Yeah, well, but that, it's good it for like the family. You got a pretty good retirement spot right there. Good for the family, you know. That's yeah. my priority. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what, you know that's something that uh, that is important to me is to see our family kind of after Hagen died. Uh, you know, I think things got a little bit, a little bit, you know, separated a little bit with everybody. At least for for me, being uh -huh. far away. And uh, so it, it took a while for everybody to kind of. He was kind of a nucleus, a lot more than I think people realized. Uh -huh. He did a lot more to get everybody together than people did. And, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I think that it took us a while to maybe try to uh, get that going again. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody's kind of figured it out. And I think it's good to see that families getting together more and stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to. It's hard for me to travel a lot. Uh, I mean, I'm not a rich guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, you know, I have, I have enough money, but it's expensive to fly a bunch of people, as you know. Yeah, especially when you start flying four or five. Yeah, yeah, that's that gets that gets expensive. <coughs> uh, you know, I think it's great that everybody makes an effort to get uh -huh. like you guys all coming up here and stuff. That's great. And I figured you guys, people can make it this far. I can make it five hours down. You know, so <laughs> it's actually not a bad ride at all. Yeah. So. Well, Jerry, it's uh, been good talking to you, yeah. and uh, maybe next time uh, we get together, we can put uh, episode two together. I try to remember where I left off. Tune in next week.